sex in your real estate. Hey. Saying she been peeping in that digger last video. Someone tell me where you go. I could I tell her no measurements from 36 to 34. JJ Vapor here, here again, bringing you another e-juice review. I'm going to tell you guys right now, since I've been buying these premium e-juices, this is my second premium e-juice I purchased in the past few days. I have not been disappointed. My very first uh, previous e-juice I purchased was my last video uh, e-juice review I made was Animal from Looper. I mean, Looper from Animal, and that was amazing. I'm still vaping it. I'm slowly vaping it because I don't want to waste it all. Today's e just review is another high end. Uh, I, I'm guessing it's a high end uh, cereal company, uh, cereal uh, e juice. And today's e juice review is going to be called um, ah, Breakfast at Tilio's The Milk. I'm going to tell you guys right now this e juice is really good. I've been vaping it for the last two to three days and it's really good. Um, it's supposed to be. Um, Fruity pebbles soaked in milk, basically. You know, basically, you get a bowl of uh, fruity pebbles with milk, and then you drain the fruity pebbles out and let all that sugar and flavor into the milk, and that's basically what you get. And right now, I just had a, a bowl of fruity pebbles like maybe 20 minutes ago, and it tastes just like it. I thought I was just, you know, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm probably just gonna start vaping this at my breakfast. <laughs> Hold on, let me take a vape so I can talk more about it. Right now I'm vaping off my Sigeli 100 Watt Plus, off my Kanger Sub Tank Nano. Yeah, I have to make the switch. My Nano, uh, my Mini was having some leakage problems. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, I made the switch to the Nano, and it hasn't disappointed me. It's just really small, you know. Kind of looks kind of funky on my, you know, this 100 Watt box mod. But hey, whatever, vapes it. I'm happy. Clouds is not bad at all. All right, guys. Before we vape more of it, um, let me go talk to you guys about the specs on the bottle. I mean, the bottle looks pretty legit. It looks cool. Nice, nice uh, blend. I mean, nice paperwork or craftsmanship, whatever you guys want to call it. It's pretty cool. Even gives you a little picture of the fruity pebbles. This is a 30 ml bottle. I purchased it for $22 at GiantVapes.com. I'll put the link in the description. And, whew, I mean, what is there much more to talk about? Oh, the PG uh, VG ratio is 30 PG 70 VG. On the website giantvapes.com, they actually, you know, they actually give you a description. So let's see what this is. The second juice in the breakfast at Tilios E Juice line, the milk pays off, pays home, pay uh, homage to one of our favorite drinks, fruity cereal milk from Mama Fuku Milk Bar in Brooklyn. For those that don't know, it's a dark made by steeping a popular fruity cereal in whole milk with a few other key ingredients. It is the vigorously stirred and strained. When Mama Fuku does it, they get one of the most delicious drinks on the planet. When Telios does it, they get the milk. Which is, I mean, right now, just reading that makes me want to vape right now. So I'm going to take a vape. Good. All right, guys. On the website giantvapes.com, this is the only website I found it on so far. <sighs> they only—I I think this is the only bottle they have, 30 mLs. And your nicot nicotine levels you could get is from zero, three, six, and twelve. So I mean, you people who want to vape higher than 12 milligrams, maybe you have to find another website. But from this website, from Giant Vapes, 12 milligrams is the highest. It's paid for $22 for one bottle. Same price, basically the same price as Looper. Uh, comparing the two right now, um, Looper is still my favorite compared to these two. But I mean, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I mean, it's it's basically the same. It's, it's so close. I mean, Looper and then like, I mean, if you had Looper in the tank and you just pour this right after, you probably wouldn't even notice, but... It's really close. I, I think from what I've noticed while vaping off of this, it's been uh it's more of a smoother milky taste, like like creamier. I mean, cuz um I don't know how you guys could really explain looper in a way because looper is more like 
if you vape at higher watts, you get more of a cream and a lower watts for me. This is, remember, this is all in my opinion. Lower watts, I get more of the fruity vape, and higher watts, I get the creamier vape. This one, it doesn't really matter, higher or lower, I get always that creamy, milky taste. So, you know, I guess it really just depends on your mood. That kind of creepy, but yeah. Uh, right now, I'm vaping it off of. I'm vaping it on 21.5 watts, 3.6 volts on my 0.5 ohm, I mean, coil from uh, Kangertech. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's really good. I mean, um, it's really good on a tank, but right now I'm going to vape it out. It's my first time vaping it off my Derringer. I'm going to check that, that out. I've never vaped it off my Derringer. So let's see how that goes. Is there going to be the same comparison as the Looper or is it going to be better? We'll see. By the way, this is a 0.5 ohm coil with a brand new fresh Kojindo Japanese organic cotton. Let me saturate it up for you guys a bit. Give it a little shake. Give it always a nice shake. Make sure it's really dry. Yeah. Okay. Drip it up, drip it up, drip it up. Alright. Little pulse fire. Let's do the vape. Okay. Right now out of uh twenty one point five watts, it's very it's like a sweet milk. Like really sweet. Really, really sweet. Now let's try bumping it up to 35 watts. That's like my, that's like my go-to spot right there. But you know what? For let's just do it for 30, 33 watts. It's close enough, right? Let's try it. See, it's it's no different. I mean, higher watts, still same taste, just gives you more clouds. So it's good though. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I mean. This is my number two e-juice since I've been purchasing these uh, premium e-liquids. Uh, Looper slightly gives it an advantage, but you know, I mean, right now, I really don't mind. I have right now I have both, set, uh, luckily, but I mean, right now, I probably vaped off of like 7 mLs off of this. And my Looper is down to probably the last 12 mLs, so... So it's good. I mean, honestly, in my opinion, right now, for from the milk, I think I prefer it in a tank, a sub tank, a clear miser, better than a dripper. And that's I'm not just saying that because I'm lazy as fuck to drip, but I mean for flavor wise, I'm more of a flavor junkie, so I prefer the tank. I don't know, it's kind of weird, right? Because you know it's supposed to be drippers are supposed to be more for flavor, but for me, I mean, I like it on a tank. Tastes better. I mean, yeah. You know, same thing. It's basically the same thing, but I prefer it on a tank. Remember, it's only in my opinion. This is all in my opinion. So, you know, I am just going to recommend to you guys. You guys should try it. If you guys try to compare this to cereal milk, which I will be doing an Aegis review, probably my next Aegis review, it's nothing like it. I mean, cereal milk, I mean, well, I, I've tried cereal milk before, Looper and Telios. Is it Telios or Telios? I'm not sure, but... Telios. I tried cereal milk before. I fell in love with it. I was like, oh man, this is the best cereal milk ever. But then ever since I tried this from Telios, I mean, this is just, I mean, first vape knocked it off the, knocked off the shelf already. Like, this took number one. When it, if you're comparing this, if you're comparing this to cereal milk, it's not going. I'll probably do another Aegis review. It's not really an Aegis review, but I'll probably make a video from doing mainly a big breakfast battle, uh, breakfast, <laughs> cereal battles, I'll probably do this, uh, Kilo from Cereal Milk, uh, and Looper, I'll compare the three, and I'll vape it, and now I'm going to see, you know, I'm going to go my ranking, but far from now, right now, I'm going to have to go with Looper number one, Telios number two, Cereal Milk number three, Fruit, uh, Mystic Aegis number four, I mean, Mystic Aegis fell way down, but remember, you guys should try Mystic E Juice. You remember, they're very cheap. You could get what, like a hundred ml bottle for like fourteen bucks. I mean, fourteen bucks, right? I mean, 
100 ml bottle. This is $22 for 30 ml. It's really no brainer. You should try it out. But yeah, you know, I do have other e juices coming up from the stores, from online. Um, but I don't know what's going on. I'm having some shipping. I don't know what's going on with my post office. I'm having some major shipping problems. Like, this Telios bottle was supposed to come to me almost a week ago, and I barely got like two or three days ago. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys got any other juice recommendations, you guys could leave, post a, a link in the, uh, bleh, post a comment. Uh, for any e juices you recommend for me to try, I, if I do do try it i will review it i'm i'm, I'm like 80 percent positive if i pay over 20 dollars for e-juice i will e review it even if i don't like it or whatever so remember guys um what else is there um casa.org sign up join up it takes five minutes to uh sign up and tell your story about how vaping changed your life fight for your rights to vape people and uh, what else is there? Subscribe! Remember to subscribe. I'm getting closer to my my first giveaway, which is when I hit 50 subscribers. It will be an Amazon e-gift card. So keep in, keep in touch with that. I mean, you know, I will be doing it. I promise. I'm not going to... I'm not just saying this so you guys can subscribe and I'm just going to flake on you guys. No, I'm not about that. You know, as long as you guys use the Amazon gift card on Am uh, vaping stuff. That's what I use my Amazon stuff. Believe it or not, you can buy some vaping equipment on Amazon, which is kind of weird, but I mean, whatever. So, yeah. Uh, leave a comment, like, dislike, remember to subscribe, casa.org, and yeah, I'll post the link in the description where I got this e-juice. Giant Vapes, oh, by the way, Giant Vapes is a really good website. Um, not, I'm not blaming the post office, uh, my shipping from, the, uh, from Giant Vapes, because... I got the notification, they sent it the day after I purchased it, and it technically arrived two days. It arrived here already in Cali in two days, I think two days shipping. And I should have actually received it probably my third or fourth day after my purchase. Oh shit, the phone's ringing. But yeah. But just because of my post office, I basically almost went almost two weeks, uh, a week and a half late but that's not even their fault i do recommend you guys to buy your e-juices or anything from giant vapes they do ship really quick free shipping in the u.s i think for me i got free shipping they do have a plenty of e-juices i still do recommend cs vapes as well but i i like giant vape they do have a rewards program and right now i purchased this is my very first purchase from them and they won't be the last all right guys let me blow another cloud and say goodbye. But before I do that, let's play more of this this Nelly song I've been listening to. Ride with me. I like the way you brush it, and I like those stylish clothes you wear. I see? like the way the light hit the see what happened? Because the dripper messed up my wattage, man. Hi guys, JJ Beeper here. Peace.